These arguments encounter difficulty, when confronted with the vast amount of information, and legal terminology applied to women who were either married, unmarried, or widowed. In the Old Testament, the Leveret law for a brother to marry his brother's widow is called a duty to her. Zelophe has daughters brought a legal case before Moses and the elders. Women show up as required joint agents with husbands in a number of settings. They could buy their freedom like males. They could be witnesses at the gate, even to capital crimes. Widows could initiate property transference transactions at the gate. Women appeared at the gates with the elders, spoke for dominated the group of elders, and were considered elders and leaders. They had access to the king for grievances. Widows were said to have legal cases, and are spoken in terms of justice or rights. The Elephantine papyri from a Jewish colony in Egypt indicated that at least in the times of Ezra and Nehemiah, women could initiate divorce. This data is very diverse and indicative of a legal system, in which women were significant participants. Yeah.